All right, guys, before we head out, I'm just gonna go over some quick specs of the gun. Um, the title's a bit misleading because this gun is not actually new. I didn't just buy this. It's actually my dad's gun. He bought it when he lived in Maui. Uh, that's where he was born. And um, yeah, so this is his old gun, but he only ever used it three times, I believe he said. Uh, even though it was super expensive, he only used it three times because he didn't like it as much as the gun that he made himself. So um, he decided to use the gun that he made instead of this one. And um, the last time we went to Maui, we found it in the garage and I was like, oh, can I use this? And he was like, yeah, because he doesn't use it anymore. So it looks pretty good, right? Pretty good condition, it's all wood. There's no real scratches or anything on it. Um, but this butt sock thing here is a little chewed up as you can see but That's the only real thing and um, yeah, it's a pretty big gun not gonna lie It's a lot bigger than the one that I use right now. That's 90 centimeters from the trigger the trigger part to the end here That's 90 centimeters and then it has this extra little bit in the back and for those of you who don't know the advantages of having a gun where the trigger part is moved up a little bit is because I have, I now have, since this is from the trigger to the end is 90 centimeters, I can move this gun around like it's a 90 centimeter gun. So I have more mobility um, because I'm only really moving around 90 centimeters. However, the actual spear, the actual shaft goes all the way back to the end here. So while I'm shooting a 90 centimeter, all right, I'm sorry. I'm moving it around like a 90 centimeter. The actual power and range that I have is that of a 140 centimeter or 130 or whatever this is. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, I don't think I mentioned it's a it's a rife. You can see right there. It's an old rife. And yeah, I'm gonna just go test it out, see what I can shoot, and hopefully, I don't know. I can't remember why my dad said he didn't like it, but. Hopefully it's not that big a deal and I can put this to some good use. I've had my aim right for many, many years. I've never used another gun, so uh, yeah, hopefully this one suits me well. Let's go test it out.
All right, guys, we are back from a very successful dive, as you can see right here. here we got the smaller uhu, the bigger one, and then the big kala right here. And then this big taco. So we're just gonna cut them up. And then, yeah. Uh, I'll get back to uh, what my thoughts are on the gun after I clean these guys. All right, guys, so real quickly, I'm just going to go over the stuff that uh, I noticed about the gun. And I just want to start off by saying I really, really like it. Uh, the range that it gives me, and it shoots super straight, and it's a lot more powerful than my uh, my 90 centimeter aim right. And I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, I expected there to be a lot of recoil because it's such a big gun, but actually, especially if I put my hand behind the butt, uh, there's really no recoil at all, or there's a little bit, but it doesn't it doesn't affect my aim, it doesn't affect my shot at all. And as a matter of fact, it shoots super straight. It's like a laser. Like wherever I'm pointing it, that's where it's going. And I missed a couple fish, but that was just me testing out my range, seeing how far I could shoot. And uh, I think if I practice a little more with lining up further shots, I'll be able to hit fish that are farther away because I feel like the fish that I missed were in my range. Uh, I'm just not used to shooting fish that far away because uh, with my 90 centimeter, I have to wait until they come a lot closer to me before I take my shot. So with this gun, hopefully I'll be able to shoot uh, more fish that are further away from me. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't know. I just really like the gun. And I guess there are some things that I don't like about it. Like for one, it's a lot heavier in the water. So it's kind of hard for me to move. So if a fish is moving fast past me, or going switching directions, I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. Um, it's at first it was a little hard to handle, uh, like just on the bottom, it would be hard for me to move it around and aim at different fish or like point it in different places. But um, other, other than that, I think there is nothing really wrong with it. Uh, it's a great gun. Um, and yeah, I would recommend it to people, but it's so old. I don't even know if it's uh on sale anymore but uh if it was still on sale i would definitely recommend it to people um but more people who have been spearfishing for a while if you're uh just starting i would recommend starting with a shorter gun like my aim right um and a gun that's the trigger mechanism is all the way at the back of the gun so that there's no butt at the end because it takes a little bit to get used to the recoil of a spear gun and um if you're just if you have that extra thing at the end um, you're gonna hit yourself in the face and that's not fun and it really hurts so uh, I haven't just saying I haven't done that but I did have it hit my shoulder one time because my hand wasn't my elbow wasn't all the way locked out and it came back and just whacked me in the shoulder and that was sore and I could only imagine what that would feel like if it hit me in the face so um, if you're starting start off with a shorter gun but if you're experienced I would definitely recommend and you're thinking about a gun that has that extra um, end and you're thinking about getting it like that, uh, I would recommend it for sure because um, it just gives you a lot more power and a lot more range while still having uh, more mobility than you would if the uh, stock was art, just the trigger was just at the back of the way at the back of the gun, like my aim right. So I would definitely rec recommend that style of gun, and I just really liked it. So I was able to shoot some good fish, like you guys saw just now in the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I don't know, I don't have anything planned yet. But um, I'm trying to figure something out. But I'll definitely have a video out by um, this weekend or the this coming Monday. So stay tuned for that. I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.